Did they send you out here for me? I'm in the middle of a live broadcast. My name is Jacqueline and Suzette Johnson. And why are you looking for me, officer? There's a warrant for you out of uh, Mesquite, Texas. There's a warrant out of Mesquite, Texas? Yes, sir. I never lived in Mesquite, Texas. So Jaguar Wright was arrested recently while on live. She's been arrested numerous of times for doing numerous of different things. Not gonna get into all of that. Welcome back to Marcus at Work Media. So if you're not familiar with who she is, She's like a one-stop shop for exposing people in the entertainment industry. From Jada Pickett, Will Smith, to Kanye, to Jay-Z, to Beyonce, to Aaliyah, any and everybody musically you love and care about, she has some tea for those people that the average public did not know. Let me get you up to speed real quick. Biggie died, Tupac died, and then there was the, the the fight between who was the top rapper now, Nas and, and Jay-Z, and then the next thing you know, Nas has a nervous breakdown, and he's taken out of the game, and then it's all Jay-Z. It's all Jay-Z. It's all Jay-Z. And he was working with R. Kelly, and they were making so many records together. You know, they made all of those records together. They both fucked Aaliyah. They shared so much in common. You know? And then, there was a falling out. And that's like it never happened. Whoever talks about best of the both worlds? Best of both worlds. Nobody talks about that. Nobody project. talks about this shit. Nobody Damn, talks that, about that, that project. Swept, that nigga swept that smooth under the rug. Why? <laughs> We know why. You know what? I got a better question. <laughs> yeah. How valuable is a Biggie Smalls verse? Mm. Yeah. Puffy has been making money off of Biggie's name for longer than Biggie was alive. People keep forgetting he hadn't turned 25 yet. He was still 24 when he died. It's been over 25 years. Fucking Puffy has been making money on that boy's name longer than he lived. It supported all the bad boy. His catalog. Clearly, a Biggie Smalls verse. It's very valuable. Am I wrong? Does anybody disagree with me? No, that's facts. So then what the fuck happened to the commission? What happened to that album? Right. It was recorded. It was being mixed and mastered upon Biggie's death. It was supposed to have came out that summer after Biggie's album because Biggie's album was slated. He died a week and a half before his album came out. Then the commission was supposed to come out and that was supposed to be his exit from Bad Boy. And then starting his own company. <clears throat> so tell me something. And this ain't me being an asshole. I think everybody that knows Sean Carter knows that he will slump anyone in any relationship for a dollar. You understand your rights, ma'am? Is that real? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you have uh, your ID on you? Um, no. My wallet is in my hotel room with my son and my mother who have been being harassed online all day. Okay. Uh, By the way, King World 2020 has been harassing us all day long hunting us for the past two weeks. I've been being followed. I no longer live in Texas. I live here. Okay. I just got off the phone with DeSoto police and they said they don't have no warrant out for my arrest. It's a, it's a, you're an NCIC, okay? What is that, what is NCIC? National Criminal Information Center. Okay? okay, and what does that mean? It means that you wanted full extraditions anywhere in the state. For a class C misdemeanor? I That's what I was charged with. Okay, guys, I think I have to go because I think they're going to arrest me now. So, Mods, you know what to do. Kimmy, I'm turning everything over to you. Please make sure my mother and my son know that I'm being arrested again for doing absolutely nothing wrong.
All right, so that was some of the highlights. She has a lot, lot more to say, but in general, you can get an idea of where she coming from with what she's saying. Now, it's been a lot of backlash because of it. A lot of people call her liars and things like that. I don't really know personally, but you give me your thoughts and opinion from there. So a lot of people feel like all these arrests that she's experiencing right now, such as the last one, is an attack from very powerful people that want to quiet her and what she has to say. What do you think?